All right, so this week Professor Barr asked us to read a poem and then to um, answer a few questions about it. <coughs> so um, I read this poem and I was so bored with it in the beginning, but then within a few pages it kind of drew me in. Uh, Lulu was absolutely crazy and I didn't expect that at all. So, her craziness is what ended up drawing me in to the actual poem. Um, so, I went ahead and answered all the questions about the poem just because in the very end of it, I did end up finding it a pretty interesting poem. Uh, so, he asked us, what are some references to history and how do they impact the play? And he told us to think of the history part as uh, un unfair rules or laws that uh, African Americans had um, so in the beginning, uh, before it even gets into any of the dialogue, the setting is Clay looking out the window and seeing Lula standing, um, waiting to get on the train. And he seems to feel bad that he's even looked at her, that they've made eye contact. Um, and I know that, um, you know, I I kind of had a hard time deciding what time frame this was because he seemed to be a free black man but his parents and grandparents were slaves so I feel like it was just the beginning of you know when blacks were starting to have equal rights so it was still illegal for them to you know make eye contact and look at women or sit with them or whatever um, also Lula has just a completely skewed vision view of a plantation she talks about a uh, barbed wire fence around plantations and um a telling thing for me was you know history with with the history question was at the very end uh she kills him and awaits her next victim she stays on the train and sends everyone else off and it's almost like she's doing this to get rid of African Americans I don't know she was very manipulative and I didn't see that one coming um, so Professor Barr also asked us uh, how does the pressure of conformity make Clay so unbalanced I think that he was more of a violent person than you know he let on um, he he's very reformed and refined and well-spoken and well-mannered but then after after Lula presses you know those those few buttons he just explodes and goes completely insane and says all of these really unnecessary things so I think there was um, you know some expectation for him to conform to American society and him to be mannered and polite and um, well-spoken um, also he without question uh, Lula would tell him say say something to me like this Lula Lula will you come to the party with me and he says it uh, he doesn't hesitate he doesn't ask why he just does it um, so uh, the number three question was what are some pressures of performativity in the play and Professor Barr explained it as you know the beliefs that uh, African Americans must perform and I think that this one really ties in with the conformity I think he put on a facade or a performance for other people instead of just acting himself and saying the things he wanted to say because he wasn't allowed to then so I think it was on some level a uh, major conformity but I also think it was a major performance because it had to take a lot of skill and um, restraint to act the way he did without letting anything slip. Um, so the last one that I wanted to touch on was uh, he asked if the play was too radical to become canonical. And <clears throat> we know that canonical is a list of works. Um, that are ranked as the highest quality works <coughs> um i guess it kind of had a um you know the same feel as the raven or the telltale heart or whatever there was that shocker ending that nobody expected but um you know 
I don't think it was too radical. I just don't know if the poem would be good enough to be a canonical work. I don't know if it's something that um, I could read over and over again like I have with um, The Telltale Heart. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I think that um, the play was really good, but it was confusing. Um, and not confusing in a good way. It wasn't really misleading. It was just confusing. Sometimes you didn't understand what they were talking about or why they were even talking about those things. Um, but, um, no, I don't think it's too radical. I just don't believe it's a good enough poem to go, um, onto the list with all of the other canonical works especially some of the ones we've read this semester. So, there's my opinion. Thanks, guys.